Hello everyone, my name is Chloe and today I'm here with a brand new video. Welcome to Brunette Bibliophile where I post bookish videos and writing content. Today I'm here to talk about my reading stats for 2023 in kind of a simplified way. I'm going to talk to you guys about them the way I track them. So basically every time I finish a book I go to my stats that I keep all year. I have them for the past like three years and I track a couple of different things. First thing is what I rated it, whether I own the book or not, what year the book came out, what genre it is, whether it's adult, young adult, or middle grade, or children's occasionally, and then what subgenre it is. So fantasy, romance, general fiction, etc. And then I also track whether it is a reread or not. And we're just going to go through each of those today for my 2023 reading. I made some pie charts and we're just going to chat. I think looking at the stats as a whole is interesting so I felt like sharing it. And I think I did this last year for 2022 as well. I'll link that in the description below if you're interested in checking that out. So in total last year I read 158 books and out of those 158 we have this chart and you can see that I actually read a lot of books that I owned. It made up 57.6% of all the books I read. 39.9% of them were unowned which means they most likely came from the library and then that small little sliver, that 1.9%, that means that they were unhauled. So I owned them and I didn't like it so I unhauled it. That doesn't happen very often. Even closer there's a tiny tiny little sliver that isn't even showing up like what it is on the chart and that is my digitally owned which means like I own an ebook and nothing else of it. Very very rare that there is something in that category. But overall I read a ton of books that I own and I'm happy with that. I want to have even more this year. Now we're gonna break it down even more into my ratings. The biggest chunk on this chart is four stars. 42.5% of my reading were four star books and then 23.8% of my reading was five stars. So that is equivalent to 68 four star reads and 38 five star reads for the whole year. I had a small chunk of four and a half star reads which makes up two and a half percent of the chart. My next biggest rating is actually books that were not rated at all. I had 12.5% of that or a total of 20 books. That tends to be graphic novels, poetry, some memoirs if I have trouble rating them. Three stars is 11.3 percent, three and a half stars is five percent, two stars is 1.9 percent, and then I had no one star ratings this year. And then I had one book that I read this year that was a two and a half star read and it doesn't even show up on this chart. So when were all of these books released? The most books that I read this year were released in 2023 which is kind of surprising. I would have expected 2022 to be the bigger chunk but that is the next biggest one at 24.1%. A huge chunk is actually earlier. Those are all books that are published prior to 2017 and that makes up 27 books. 2017 and 2019 don't even show a percentage on this chart because I only read three books from each of those years. 2018 was four books or two and a half percent. 2020 was 8.2%, 2021 was 10.8%, and 2022 was 24.1%. And then the final two categories to talk about are the genre and the subgenre. Of the 158 books that I read, 69.6% of them were adult books, which is equivalent to 110 books. YA made up 25.9% of my reading and is equal to 41 books. Middle grade made up 3.8% of my reading or six books. And then the last little sliver is children's. I had one book. And then the final breakdown, the subgenre. As you can see there are a lot of categories here. Romance, the biggest chunk. 50.6% of my reading was a romance book. Surprisingly the next biggest chunk was fantasy at 17.7%. Graphic novels made up 9.5%. Now for the category of other that tends to be where I put a bunch of things that I don't read a lot of so they don't get their own category. Picture books, historical fiction, thrillers. I don't read enough of them to give them their own category so they end up in the other section. Nonfiction ended up being 7% of my reading this year. This was actually the year that I picked up the most amount of memoirs that I ever have. And then general fiction and mystery were tied at 4.4%. General fiction for me is something that can be, it's a contemporary but there's no romance for example. It's just a slice of life. But as you can see from this, Romance is and will continue to be the main genre 
that I read considering it took up more than half of this chart. And then this is not on a chart but for my rereads in 2023 I had a total of 23 rereads. And a lot of that is because my friend group at work likes to buddy read series and some of the series I have previously read before. So those are all of my stats for my 2023 reading. I'm not sure if this is really an interesting video to anybody but I just love being able to put together the little charts and kind of really visually see how my reading was throughout the year. 158 books is a lot. It's probably the most that I have ever read in a year, in any year, like let's say in the past 10 years. So it's really interesting to have the stats all laid out and see how my reading has changed throughout the years. Especially this year because the difference between 2023 and 2022 is the young adult books went way down. So it's definitely interesting to compare them all. So that is all I have for this video today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always if you like what you see here please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every week so click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye! In the darkness I don't feel so cold The ashes fall like rain And somehow we're okay A story drifts between shadows and smoke